today, YouTubers. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my Ninja 76's All-Star Biscuits. First, you need to reheat the oven to 400 to convection bake. And you need, for a batch, you need two cups of flour. Three-fourths of a cup of milk. And if you want to, you can do all water. But the recipe calls for milk. And you need a baking sheet and a silicone mat to put your biscuits on. You need a teaspoon, you need a teaspoon of salt. And you need baking powder. If you don't know how to make, if you do not know how to make baking powder, all you need is two teaspoons of, all you need is two teaspoons of cream of tartar and one <coughs> teaspoon of baking soda and you put them together and then you shake, mix it up and then you have your baking powder. You need two teaspoons of this and then four tablespoons of olive oil, but you can use coconut oil, butter, but olive oil works the best because it's easy it's to use because it's just right there. Step one, you get all your ingredients out, which you are, I already have. Then you need to get your two cups of flour. There's one. There's two. It's sprouted spelt flour and it's all organic. It's not your normal wheat flour that you can get from the store that's bad. Then you need to use two teaspoons of baking powder and I have a little pet in the kitchen with me lives into the floor so my little Companion is cute. Her name, my little goat's name is Strawberry, but in Hebrew it's Toot. We like to call her Toot. Because she's so small. Yes, and she she's a pygmy Nigerian. Now you need a teaspoon of Himalayan salt or Celtic salt, but right now all we have is Himalayan. Then you get out a flour whisk and you use it and you mix up your flour before you add your wet ingredients in. And you need one of these to stir the batter around. First you use a flour whisk to stir in the, the baking powder, the salt, and the flour. And then you add, then you do four teaspoon, four tablespoons of olive oil. I prefer using olive oil myself because butter takes too long to melt and coconut oil is real messy. That's not necessarily true. Coconut oil is good and so is butter. As yes. long as the butter is... It is not Country Crock or Lando Lakes or any of the other bad brands. The best brands of butter you can get is Organic Valley, Kerrygold, <laughs> And <laughs> Vital Farms 
grass raised. <laughs> and you use three fourths of a cup of milk. This is butter. This milk has turned to buttermilk, so that's the benefits. Just use all of the milk. You need three fourths of a cup. There's more than three fourths of a cup. So a little more milk never hurts. Yeah, it'll melt to make it too liquidy. You have to have the measurements precise, because if you don't, it'll be a disaster. Now, then you put the olive oil, or the oil, you want to use in with the milk. <laughs> and you want to make sure you get all of it. And then you add this in with the flour. Then you take your whisk. And you mix it Actually, around. Actually, silicone spoon. Silicone spoon, and you stir it around. And if it's too liquidy, add a little more flour. If it's too battery, you need to add some more liquid. So there's some advice right there. My cameraman, my cameraman is being nutty right now. So she is... Showing everything around, and my mom has some cold flour going on the stove that she's gonna be needing to check in about five minutes. <laughs> we live on a farm. <laughs> See, my cameraman's going naughty. <laughs> Apparently, my, my mom was camera shy. <laughs> My stuff is a little too battery, so I need to add some liquid. Adding a little more buttermilk. Add a little splash. Like that. And stir it around. And there's my little toot in the background. Mine is still a little too bad thick, so I need to add some norm leche. That is milk in Spanish. No. <laughs> you need to take the cauliflower. Yeah. It's done. I bet it's overdone. And <laughs> My dad's being a goofball right now. <laughs> Can you please get the if you want to see some more goofy so dad, good, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it nice and well. I need some more leche. AKA milk. No, it doesn't. Fine. Just, no. just mix it. That's good. Just mix it. You just done the all like I said. That goes too. Now the now the batter is all good. Now it's time to make the biscuits. We like mini biscuits because they make more and they're, and they're crispy. crispy. So if you want crispier biscuits, make them smaller. But if you like light and fluffy biscuits, make them bigger. And, and if, these will expand. And if you just want regular biscuits, make them medium. But if you want sandwich biscuits, you want to make them huge.
And trust me, these are a lot better than store-bought biscuits in a box. If you want to see some more Goofy Dad, please smash that subscribe button. Hey, Toot! Sorry, but there will be no food jokes today. Hey, why Cut didn't the banana more. want to cross the road? Because you'd get banana split. Because he, he would have gotten split up from his brother. No. That doesn't make sense, Bunny. Lo siento. <laughs> he can't be speaking English y Espanol. He's stuck in my room. Look in our lips. And that's what the biscuits look like. And if the batter sticks to your finger, make sure you wash them before you. With soap. With soap and water before you stick them in the oven. And this batch made 11 minis, so. This is what they look like. And we have a. Since these are little. We will stick them in the oven for 15 minutes, but it's not ready to preheat. It's not done preheating yet. We have to wait 15 more, so if I have to, I will make, I will crack some jokes. The oven is preheated to 400, and you want to put these in, these minis in for 15 minutes. And if they're bigger, you want about 20 to 25. Oh, and I would like to mention my favorite soda and bunnies. They're called Zevia. They're all natural and they're healthy. They have several flavors. This one's cream soda. It tastes like ice cream. The Most of the flavors of ingredients are carbonated water, natural flavors, stevia leaf, leaf extract, citric acid. A few of them contain... <laughs> A few of the sodas contain caffeine, like Dr. Zevi. I recommend that one because it tastes like Dr. Pepper, just a healthier version. And Dr. Pepper is bad for you, so is Coke. It, this is a lot healthier version. And As there are 10 minutes left on the timer, you want to check your biscuits. And this is what they look like so far. They're not quite done, so... We'll be finishing and I'll be telling a couple food jokes. Just so that's way it passed the time. Why do bananas not like being left out in the sun? Because they peel very easily. And telling for today and here's my little toot say hi to YouTube toot oh you want you want to come to your owner hi toot hi tooty fruity strawberry oh the hey you can't eat the phone no you can't eat the phone you can't eat the phone no 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 And now I will show how my mom is, and while I'm at it, I'll show my mom how to make mashed cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Step one, you get water, 
and put it on the burner. Then you get the cauliflower in the thing. And you let it sit and then when it gets cooked, you put the cauliflower in the vi the mix container. You put the Vimex container on this and then you put the lid on. And, and then you mix it up. What's the ingredients? Let go eat this cactus. I didn't think they ate cactus. Well, you need, my mom said, my mom says you need some butter to make. I don't want to be recorded. Okay, she doesn't want to be recorded. My dad's being goofy right now. As there is one minute left on the timer, we will be checking the biscuit. I will be checking the biscuits. They look pretty crisp, so let's go ahead and turn off oh, the timer. That, uh, and get a hot holder out. And take them out. Now, don't those just look delicious? They do better with water. If you want smoother biscuits, use I recommend water.